it's my opinion, and this is not to be derogatory at all, but everything you learn in this kind of microstate school is designed so you stop losing. The whole goal is, you know, don't lose money. Don't go in the games and just bleed money over, you know, all over the place. Uh, if you happen to win, it's because players in your game are dumping money into the game and you just happen to be there to get some. In other words, there is some guy who's, you know, 7312 who's, you know, just dumping money into the game. And kind of by osmosis, by just existing in that game, you're going to get, over at least over time, you're going to get your share of that. You know, if you don't lose, you know, if you focus on not losing and then are in games with these guys that dump money, you're going to be a winner in the game. So that's kind of how I would say your average kind of at least beginner, intermediate player learns to win at poker. They learn to win against, um, you know, just existing in these games where these guys are dumping money. So here's my picture of what your average micro stakes reg is. So this is <laughs> some castle. And uh, this is kind of what micro stakes players do. They build up this wall around themselves where they're going to just not lose. You know, as I said, they're playing not to lose. They've learned not to stack off. They've learned not to do any of these uh, kind of get out of line. You know, so so everything or most of what micro stakes regs are focused on, especially if you multi-table, you know, if you mass multi-table, it's this kind of trying to find this kind of bulletproof strategy where you can just put your castle down in the game. You know, everybody else has their castles. All the other regs, there's like five castles in the game. You know, everybody's kind of shooting, you know, an arrow here and there at the castle, but nobody's really doing any damage. And then this one, you know sad guy walks in and says, you know, what's up with all these castles? And then everyone shoots an arrow at him, you know, and he dies a, a quick and sorry death. So this is kind of my metaphor for your average microstakes reg. What microstakes players don't learn to do, or at least this is not part of the microstakes canon, is how to storm someone else's castle. You know, every castle has weak points. It's impossible to build, or it, it, it's virtually impossible to build an impenetrable fortress. And, and in poker, you wouldn't, generally wouldn't want to do that even if you could. Uh, and, and certainly, anyone playing microstakes at, at the reg level does not have an impenetrable fortress. They're doing things uh, consistently that, that are exploitable. And, but most microstakes regs, by and large, are content just to try to break even with the other regs. You know, I, I hear all the time, oh, it's all about game selection, and I agree, game selection is, is is very important for your win rate. It's all about game selection, you know, I don't want to play with other regs, uh, I need to find the fish, I need to, you know, and the whole, I'm going to stay out of the other regs way, I'm going to just go after the fish, take turns going after the fish, all this stuff, I'm sure you've heard it before. Uh, it's perfectly reasonable. Unfortunately, if you have any hope to move up, and I don't mean up like one level, but I mean up like, you know, where you're playing at a significantly higher level. This is not good enough. It's just not. Because if you can't beat the micro stakes regs in your game, you know, a micro stakes reg thrown in, in a 510 game or a 1020 game would be the spot. So that's, you know, shows you where the difference is um, in terms of, of skill level. And it, so if you're not actively trying to beat the micro stakes regs, then you're not going to be able to play in a game where the spot is someone that that, that you're trying to avoid in your microstakes game. So, uh, and, and unfortunately, there aren't enough wandering idiots these days to really pay upkeep on your castle. So, that's the idea behind the series. Uh, I'm going to we're going to look for weak spots in a lot of regs games. Again, this is obviously not going to be in every regs game, but these are common things that regs do, especially at the lower levels. Uh, as kind of shortcuts. And they work uh, basically because no one's punishing them for it. None of the other regs in the game are looking for these things. Nobody else is really going after them. Uh, it's just not being exploited. So so who cares if, if these vulnerabilities are there? As long as no one's exploiting them, uh, they work just fine. So so here's the first play I'm going to um, talk about. And it's overbetting. And this is one possible weapon out of dozens to help you try to storm the microstakes castle. 